start out with Don. Um, obviously, if Milwaukee made it, he's played in the first round of the NCAA tournament. How do you feel about that, that matchup? <laughs> um, uh, I was going to be like excited either way just being in the tournament no matter who we play but yeah, it kind of it's kind of like it's kind of special in a way that that's how it played out and that's a team that we play from my hometown I'm seeing, uh, seeing Western Kentucky on an NCAA bracket going you're going to be playing in how's that feel to, to actually see that happen? it feels like oh um, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of different emotions. Like, I don't even know I can just really describe it in one word, but it's just, it's like surreal, man. It feels kind of like a dream or something. Is that what was the key to see where you guys were at the end of the regular season to conference time to play something like this basketball of the year? I guess what changed? How did that flip switch? How did you guys get into the position when you're conference champs? I was say, I think it's just, just sticking with it, just sticking with it through the ups and downs and just not putting our head down and just continue to work and just trusting it. Was there ever a moment where you thought, like, you guys might have something here to where you could be playing in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I pretty much thought that throughout the whole season, really. But, like, as it started coming down to the end, like, I knew that we was, like, we was locked in, like, the last couple of practices that we had before we even head off. I knew, like, Everybody's serious about it and really want to win. Steve, I guess uh, we should get your reaction on Kentucky and Western Kentucky. Obviously, we probably researched Mark out about as much as you have. So, what can you tell us about them? You probably researched them more than I have. I, I really haven't had a chance. Yeah. Um, I mean, but when you get to the NCAA tournament, uh, you know, it, your your prep's going to be short and. Uh, you know, you're going to see an opponent that, that probably um, doesn't know everything about you, right? So it's a fresh start is the way I look at it. You know, when you get into league play and you played people two and three times, they know your tendencies, they know what you're about, and they're able to take some of those things away. Now, Shaka Smart's a good coach. You know, I know that he's going to do a good job and his staff will do a good job in prepping. But, um, you know, it, it'll be a new, a new game where people – um, you're starting at square one, kind of like the beginning of the season. So you'd like to think that you, you know, you're able to run a little more offense freely and those sorts of things. But man, just going to the NCAA tournament with these guys and and uh, having the opportunity to compete and get us back to you know a Final Four or compete for a national title. I mean, that's what you do this for. And so uh, we're just excited about that. You know, when we play Marquette on Friday, obviously we'll give it our best, but. Man, to get here at this point, especially in the first season, is fantastic. Have you, have you allowed yourself? Have you allowed yourself to kind of have a moment of? Even though you weren't here, as long as you're out of the You know, have you to? no, not really. It's hard, man. Um, it, you know, it's just been a, a long year. You know, um, obviously with these guys. Um, for, for me personally, you know, I don't have family here in, in the first year. And um, it, you, you just never, you just work, right? You don't, you don't get any downtime. And, um, you know, it's worked out well for us. But really after the game, you know, you go downstairs and you, you enjoy it a little bit, you know, with some fans, enjoy it a little bit with some of their parents. Um, but really after that, I just, I went up to the room and, and uh, I sat and talked with my wife for a long time, you know. Uh, so, I, I'm, you know, when the season's over, you can do all of those things. But, but right now, man, when you win, it comes at you fast. I mean, I finally caught up. My wife drove back from uh, Huntsville, and I finally caught up on my text messages right about Franklin. And then I look back down here, and we're at 300 again, you know. And, and so it, it just there's a lot that comes at you at this time of the year. Um, so you just do the best you can. Right, but the most important thing is these guys and this team and figuring out a way to win. So, um, all that other stuff can wait. We can celebrate later. Which Franklin, Kentucky, Tennessee? Pardon me. Which Franklin, Kentucky? Kentucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is your third straight year and going to win conference ahead of March. Uh, what have you learned in your final two that you're going to hopefully uh, be able to instill? In yeah, you know, you play you play confidently, and I said that last night. Um, these guys got to feel good to play good. 
and um, I felt like that that uh, we finally got to the point through having good practices, through having a lot of meetings and watching a lot of video that we felt good about where we were when we headed into Huntsville. And we have to feel good before we head into Indianapolis so that we can play confidently um, and that we can play, you know, freely. Um, probably things that I've learned along the way is, is uh, figure out a way to, to – eliminate the distractions and I, and I told these guys you know you got to enjoy this because the stuff doesn't happen every day but after tonight you got to get out of your dms you got to get off social media and you got to tell your people like hey we're focused on winning games in the ncaa tournament this is a special time of year and that's really hard to do especially for these guys because you have no idea the pressure and the crap that people send them um so i would say that's probably the biggest thing that i learned um and then making sure you get there early you don't want to rush getting to the NCAA tournament. You want to get there early. You want to enjoy it and soak in the experience. Of course, you've been to this tournament two years now as a head coach, and obviously, I think several years before that as an assistant. What's your what's your best memory so far of being in this tournament? Oh, the best memories are always when they uh, when they get the motorcycle cops and, and they get in front of your bus and then they take you to the arena and they stop all the traffic at the stoplights. To me, that's fantastic. I and mean, I get it. I, you think I'm an idiot, but I tell these guys like cutting down nets and and when you go to the NCAA tournament and those motorcycle police are escorting you there, man, that's really cool. It's really really cool. Um, so so I really enjoy that. I really do. I try to I try to. Bask, or, or, you know, I try to enjoy that a lot. Well, you know, I say it all the time. Sometimes it's it's better to be lucky than good, you know. And uh, you know, we, we've we've you know we've we've had a great year, and, and these guys have done a great job. They deserve every opportunity. So. Um, you know, whether the NCAA committee <coughs> did it on purpose or whatever, it doesn't matter, right? It's fallen in our favor and the things are aligning, you know, for us to have a chance to go beat Marquette. And uh, that's got to be our focus for between now and Friday. Steve, how are you feeling? Oh, man. <laughs> At this time of the year, you feel, you feel great. I mean, you win, you win, you're going to the NCAA tournament. Like, I tell them all the time, there's a time where you can be sick. There's a time when you can be hurt. This ain't that time. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's a time for books. There's a time for ball, all of it. You know, I mean, this is the time for basketball. We're on spring break. We got nothing else going on. Um, so, you ain't no, there's no time to be sick. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the NCAA will tell us that later tonight. Obviously, it's all dictated by um, matchup times and game times. Um, you know, we'll drive because we're within 400 miles, and that's the NCAA rule. Um, so once they figure all that out, you deal with the travel agency, and they kind of tell you when the buses are available, all that kind of stuff. I would think we leave play Friday. I would think we leave Tuesday night, maybe Wednesday night, one of those two. Thank you, guys.